Well, I'm a little bit of a dinosaur, and I have a team with me. So I have a team who helps me, acts, helps me collate all that's online. I do a little bit of online in terms of research, but I do quite a lot of traditional media. I look at documentaries. I listen to the radio. Uh, whether you know, in in the United States, it was NPR, National Public Radio. In in the UK, I listen to the BBC World Service or BBC Radio Four. Um, I look at um, news programs, not just the news show, but let's say you know, a special documentary or whatever it might be. Um, and as you know, there are a lot of documentaries being made right now. There's like a proliferation of documentaries on, on news topics because a lot of television is getting away from doing the kind of stuff that I did when I, when I first started. In the field, reportage, you know, first-hand accounts, eyewitnesses, interviews, a lot of that is now happening in the documentary sphere. So I look at a lot of that. Um, yeah, obviously, if something comes across Twitter or whatever it might be, of course, in my daily 24 hours, I take notice of it. Um, but I don't get bogged down in all the social media that's out there because um, it's quite, it's too time consuming. So I have to judge where I go on a given day for a given subject. And depending on the subject that I'm researching, because now I do a program, I'm not just a reporter, I do a daily program where I have to know a lot of stuff about a lot of different topics, you know, and it's, 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 it's heavy lifting. It's hard work, really hard work. Um, so uh, as many places as I can, plus after 20 years, you have a, a sort of a bank of experience and judgment and knowledge to sort of draw on and to compare. Oh, that person said that. Well, hang on, somebody said that or that person said something different. You know, you, you, I remember a lot of that stuff. So, yeah.